Okay, so now once we've calculated, or we have both our calculated t-value and our critical t-value, now we need to make a decision. So this is the fourth step in this hypothesis testing process. Now, you will remember that to get to our decision, we said the rule that we use is that if your t calculated is bigger than your t critical, we reject our null hypothesis. In this case, we calculated our t calculated to be minus 3.75. Now, just a word of caution here. This calculated t value, we always use it as if it is in absolute values. Okay, Absolute values simply mean that we always look at it as if it is positive. So in this case, t calculated will become 3.75. Remember when we look at our t distribution, the positive and the negative sides look exactly the same. That's why to test if something is bigger than a positive critical value will give us the same probability as testing whether something is smaller than a negative t value. But as you know from your t tables, we only have positive values as critical values. That's why we only use our positive values to test against. The critical value in this case that we looked up in our uh, textbook was 1.697. In this case, we can see that 3.75 is bigger than 1.69. So if we use our rejection rule, we say that we can reject the null hypothesis. In this case, we remember that as a null hypothesis, we had our coefficient being bigger than or equal to zero. And our alternative hypothesis, we had our coefficient as smaller than zero. So do you see that in this case, if we now reject our null hypothesis, we are saying that our coefficient is not equal to zero, which means actually that this variable is statistically significant in this equation from a statistical point of view.